Hi guys, I'm Dr. Khan. Hope you guys are all doing well and this reaches you on all levels of positivity. Today I'm going to be talking to you about obsessive thoughts, why you can't relax, and just why you're in this constant state of anxiety. Okay, why does this happen and how to heal it? Okay, so as I said in many of my recordings, we are taught by society, culture, and our upbringing to be in a state of codependency. Society works in a way where it makes us be codependent to ideologies, attachments, desires, and wants. So we grew up in families where dad and mom are always trying are always trying to live up to this particular standard. So there's a lot of chaos in families because they're either paying debts because they have to live to a certain standard, or mothers are busy uh, living out their programming to again live out a certain standard. So what ends up happening, okay? What ends up happening is the children of these families, in these families, basically are always in this state of survival because there's so much chaos in the home. It's either mom is ignoring them because she's too busy living out her programming, dad is either working to make the uh, make ends meet, pay, fine, pay bills, or he's numb from alcohol use or drug abuse because he just he's depressed because some other standard in his life wasn't met. So again, these children are always at a very, very young age in a state of survival, a state of anxiety. So they're always learning, they basically learn to, they basically learn unhealthy self-defense uh, mechanisms at that point. So this is what happens to their brain at a very, very, very young age because of the stress of this family dynamic and all the chaos in the family or instability in the family, the hypothalamus is activated, which triggers the pituitary glands. And that triggers adrenal, your adrenal cortex, the gland on top of the kidney. And basically, these, these children are always in this fight and flight mode. You're, they're in this fight or flight mode because of all the stress uh, that they see around them. So as they grow up, in adolescence and as young adulthood, adulthood, they're in this constant state of anxiety. So what happens? They, these individuals are always thinking that something's gonna go wrong. They always obsess over things. They create stories. Like what if, what if, what if she's doing this? What if he's doing that? They can't be present. They can't relax. They're always in this obsessive thought, ruminating thoughts, having obsessive thoughts, ruminating thoughts. They create tension when it may not be there or it doesn't have to be there. They basically obsess, obsess over little things. They get upset over sometimes nothing. Um, so basically there's a block, there's a block. Uh, they can't see their blessings. They can't see their blessings. So if you're one of those individuals who can't relax, who basically is always in on the go, who can't just stop and just be, and just be yourselves. Just stop and start thinking about your childhood. Go back to your old ch inner child and try to reflect on your, on your life and see, oh wait, huh, maybe this is because of my childhood programming. Maybe this is because my brain just got used to always being in fight and flight mode. So how do we help ourselves now? How do we help ourselves? So basically, there are methods to help ourselves with, with this type of programming that has just happened to us when we were younger. And now we can't just relax and we just create negativity and invite negativity in our lives for no reason and can't see the blessings that are right in front of us. So what's the solution? Okay, number one, identify all the old programming that has happened in your life, all the negativity, all, all the feelings that came about because of your childhood. Start base number two. Start making new labels, like I am enough. Uh, I I I will invite positivity in my life. You know. So basically, what you want to do is identify all the negative la labeling and programming and thought patterns in your in your that has ha occurred, and accept all the all the negativity and chaos that has happened in your life. Accept it. Be compassionate to what has happened and start inputting new labels. Again, remember how the brain works. It basically, if you take something out, you must replace it. 
So again, release it and then put the positive positive programming in your in, in, in your brain. Number three, identify the negative people uh, or the that create these patterns for you who try to block you with basically their negative energy. Number four, and which is very, very important, is ask yourself and start connecting with yourself again by saying, what do I want? What do I need? How do I feel? What do I think? What should I do? So connecting with your inner self, like, hey, this is me. What do I want? What do I need? How do I feel? What do I think? Not what everybody else thinks, what do I think? What should I do? Hmm, what should I do? How do I wanna move forward? So again, being aware of how you've been programmed, right? Being aware of how the brain works and how you've always been in this fight and flight mode and being compassionate to yourself and saying to yourself, wait a second, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Now I know where I'm getting these, why I'm always creating tension in my life. Oh, now I know why I can't just relax. Because I've always been in this fight and flight mode since, a chi since I was a child. Oh, now I know why I have all these ruminating thoughts. Hmm. Now I know why I create tension for no reason. And I live in this what if mode. Oh, what if this happens? What if he's doing that? Oh, what if my spouse does this? What if my mother does this? Well, what if, what if, what if, what if? So just be aware and start identi identifying what those labels are again. Number two, make new labels, positive love labels. Identify the negative people that create these patterns for you over and over and start distancing yourself from them. And then connecting with yourself. What do I want? What do I need? How do I feel? What do I think? What should I do? And retraining your brain to not be in this fight and flight mode at all times. I hope this helps to love to all the love to love, to peace, to happiness, and to healing. I hope this helps. Take care. Bye.